Okay, so I, I want to share uh, my near death ex one of my near death experiences uh, when a horse I was riding spooked and you know reared up and I brought him over on top of me and uh, fractured my back, my lower back, L3 and L4 were fractured. Anyway, uh, last thing I remember is, uh, you know, thinking, why am I holding on to the reins? Because I knew I was falling and that's the last time I shouldn't have been holding, I should have just fell off. Anyway, I brought the horse over on me and everything went blank for a little bit. And I woke up in this place full of people. I mean, people everywhere. Everywhere I looked, you know, just like shoulder to shoulder, everywhere, all around me. And I'm like, wow, where am I, you know? And and I thought, am I dying? You know, I remember consciously thinking, I think I'm dying. And feeling that I had the choice to either stay there or come back. I remember that feeling like I had the choice for some reason. But one thing, there was no faces. I couldn't recognize anybody. I didn't see no lights or, you know, uh, tunnels of light or anything like that. I just woke up and there's people everywhere. And I'm in the middle and I'm looking around and everywhere. I mean, thousands and thousands of people. And then for some reason, I said, I don't belong here. I'm not supposed to be here. And I opened my eyes and I saw two two silhouettes looking down at me and I'm like why who are these guys why are they looking down at me and I couldn't hear anything but I remember thinking man well, that place where I was at is the best feeling I have ever felt in my life it was like nothing I've ever felt before pleasure or good feeling and the only way I can explain it is Think of the the b best feeling you've ever had and multiply it by a billion or two billion. And it's like amazing. I wanted to stay there. I didn't want to leave. I was like, man, I want to go back. So I, w I wasn't feeling any pain anywhere. I was just feeling great. I was like, man. And I said, who are these guys? Anyway, so I, I guess I pass out again and I go back to the place where I was and I was looking around and trying to see people and I could see people but no faces and that bothered me I said why are there no faces you know I thought we were supposed to you know see our loved ones that have died and stuff and uh I was like a little, little bit disappointed but again I wanted to stay there I didn't want to leave and for some reason I again I said I don't belong here and opened my eyes again and I said who are these guys you know and I said, what's that noise? I was hearing a noise. And again, I was like, man, it was just great. I want to you know, go back. I, I wish I could have stayed there. So I guess I passed out again, and I went back the third time I was there. And again, uh, people everywhere, full of people. And I felt the best I have ever felt. I mean, I've never felt that feeling before. I'm kind of, you know, whenever my time comes to die, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I'm like, it's going to be great, but I'm not, I'm not in any hurry. I mean, however much time I have is however much time I have, but I'm kind of looking forward to it. And I know you don't feel anything and you feel great when you're dying. I think, I think I was on the, on my way out. And, uh, again, I said, you know, I don't belong here again for some reason and I go back open my eyes and I see the two guys my cousins I go oh they're my cousins and I go oh yeah and I go what's that noise and I, I remembered you know that I, I was on a horse fellow and I said what's that noise and I and when I when I when I in my mind I said oh that noise is me uh, I felt the most pain somebody can feel, I think, in my back. And I was feeling, uh, that's when I felt the most pain I have ever felt. And I was like amazed. I was like, you know, like, wow, why, 
why would my body let me feel so much pain? You know, that was that when I was like, and you know, again, I would go, whatever the most painful thing you've done, smashed your finger with a hammer or something, or whatever, cut yourself, broke a bone, multiply it by a billion. You know, that's what I was feeling. And, and then I passed out again. I didn't go back to that place. I only went three times and I didn't go back to that place. So I kind of like knew I wasn't, I wasn't going to die. Um, and looking back, thinking back, I think because my cousins were calling my name. They were calling me to wake up, you know. Uh, they said I was, I was not breathing. I wasn't trying to breathe. I was just, I, I went into a fetal position. And uh, I wasn't trying to breathe or anything. They thought I was dead. And they rolled me on my back and spread my legs and my arms. And they were calling me. They were looking at me, calling me back. And I think that's whenever I was there where I felt I had that decision whether I could stay or go. If I would have decided to stay, I think my body was shutting down. My brain was shutting everything down. But with, since they were calling me, Thing, you know, I, like, I don't belong here. Uh, if I would have been alone, uh, I think I would have said, you know what, I'm going to stay here. This feels great. I want to, I want more. But so, I think since they were calling me, my cousins brought me back somehow. But, you know, I always felt it was my decision if I stayed or go for some reason. I don't know. It was, it wasn't my time, apparently. And, you know, I'm sharing this because. Something's been telling me since 2008, share this. So all my friends and family, I share, I share it with, I've shared it with them. And, um, so I'm going to put a video, this video out, I guess, and, and whoever wants to see it, but I'm not, you know, I'm not saying I was in heaven or I wasn't or other people's experiences or, or not, you know, everybody's experience, I guess, is different. And I'm not knocking on it, but I'm just sharing my my experience. Uh, one thing that really bothers me since 2008, and I've only shared this with my brother. I've never shared this, but uh, I couldn't see faces, and I was disappointed, you know. Uh, I wanted to see my father, you know, I wanted to see my father that died at 56 years old or and my other, my grandparents, I wanted to, you know, maybe see them again. And there's at least three little babies that I never met. There's probably more, but three that I know of uh, come to my dreams sometimes. But I want it. You know, I was thinking, you know, like they tell us, you know, you're going to, when you go to heaven and, and they're seeing each other, you know, you get to see Jimi Hendrix, John Lennon, whoever, you know, your heroes are. But after my experience, I, I'm disappointed that I don't think I'm going to be able to meet the people that I want to meet especially those three babies or more of them, but three that I know of uh, that come to my dreams. Uh, but they only come as babies. They never grow up. It's just babies. They look like babies. And I was hoping I would see, meet them, see them whenever you die. But from, like I said, from my experience, I don't know. I don't know if I am. I'm, I'm still hopeful. Uh, that I will but that's been bothering me since 2008 no faces and you don't get to meet you know you're just there with everybody and you feel great but uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get to meet them but I'm like I said I'm hopeful I'm still hopeful maybe that's just what my brain had me thinking or, and it wasn't real where I was going maybe I wasn't dying but I think I was, you know, and looking back, looking back, uh, everything that I've gone through since then, sometimes I, th I think that I, it was my time to die, and for some reason I didn't, and 
The reason I say that, or I'm paying for something, I don't know, I don't know what the thing is, but since 2008, I, I, I really haven't been living. I mean, I've been surviving, but I haven't been living. So looking back, it's like, maybe I was supposed to die then. Now, I'm not saying I want to die. I want to live for as long as I can. I got, I want to see my granddaughter grow up. So, I want to be here for as long as I can. Anyway, I hope you find this experience that I had, uh, I don't know, helpful or maybe you had an experience. Now, that was one of my experiences. I have more, but today, let's just do that one. Uh, so, anyway, thank you.